So this is our point in time count, and because it is the uh, official count that's used in the federal funding process, it's really it's really important. So we want to uh, make sure that we are using the same methods when we count when we go out. If you separate, always make sure you have a partner with you. Please take note of the ATM areas when you're counting. Some people are inside of those closed in areas where the banks are and they sleep on the floor, um, you know, of those areas. We usually conduct ourselves around 1130 at the Project Home, which is 1515 Fairmount. Um, a group of volunteers go out and convey the areas um, to do a, a body count. Um, if there is needed more engagement, we contact the OCC to get different assistance. But at this point in time, we go out to actually count bodies out in the city of Fairmount. How many layers are going to be out on the banks of this the city and Project Home conduct this count each year, um, and it provides a foundation of some of the challenges that we have going into the upcoming year. The concourse uh, has uh, been for some time a place where uh, people uh, who are uh, street homeless stay. It's away from the elements. It often is not known to many people that there's a whole community of people experiencing homelessness right here, uh, you know, underground. It's always an underestimate, a large underestimate, because we're not seeing a lot of people who are hidden. It's important in terms of developing uh, adequate services and programs to know how many people are actually living outside without any shelter at all. So we try to compare previous years to the current year that we're counting to give us an idea of some of the challenges that we have or have we made some inroads to reducing the homeless population in Philadelphia.